The scale of North Korea's troop deployment to Russia is becoming clearer as we have a new assessment that a considerable number of more than 10,000 soldiers from the north sent to Russia have been dispatched to frontline areas. This comes to us via South Korea's Defense Ministry, which has confirmed the battleground of Kursk is one of the frontline areas in question. Seoul is yet to confirm specifics on North Korean troop activity, but South Korea's military and intelligence authorities are closely monitoring the situation in Ukraine. And at the start of this week, the U.S. State Department stated that as many as 10,000 North Korean troops were in the Kursk region and could engage in combat in the coming days. Elsewhere in Russia, we also know from Russian state media that President Vladimir Putin's met with North Korean Foreign Minister Che Son Hee at the Kremlin. Che is understood to have conveyed North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's greetings to Putin as the two sides continue to get closer. And perhaps emboldened by this relationship, North Korea continues to defy the UN Security Council by launching ballistic missiles. The North test fired multiple short-range ballistic missiles into the East Sea Tuesday morning, according to South Korea's military, just hours ahead of the US presidential election. That immediately raises curiosity about the timing, with Pyongyang perhaps seeing this as a chance to raise the importance of itself and global security in American voters' minds. But then, these launches also took place soon after South Korea, the US and Japan staged combined air drills involving an American B-1B bomber. That in itself was a response to the North's intercontinental ballistic missile test less than a week ago. And so we see how the cycle of provocations continues just as we have the added drama of that election.